Okay, welcome uh, Holderberg Yellow families. So, okay, um, I'm gonna have a go this year at doing, a, uh, doing an audio visual uh, match report. So bear with me for my first one. So welcome to all the families uh, for the Holderberg uh, Yellow team. Um, it's fantastic this year to have uh, nine new players. Um, so that will take us a little bit of time to find our feet. Uh, as far as getting used to playing with each other. So on Sunday we took on Greythorn in, in round one in green, so which I think is will be a really good competition for us. Um, and we really we started the game quite well. Uh, we spoke about before the game of being accountable off the back of the practice games and um, just trying to move the ball a little bit more quickly into our forward line and obviously coming out through the band in defence. And we started the game really well. We, and we had a great, great tap from um, Sam at the very first bounce, we spoke about it and it actually worked out as we discussed with Sam tacking it down to Alex. We got a nice little handball off Jacko, who got a kick away to Garson, and we got a deep forward entry, which was really good. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't score from that and we had had our problem scoring, but the first five minutes of the game was a really it was a really good contest uh, against opposition I think we'll get a lot closer to next time. Um, we welcome back uh, Josh and Anthony Caminetti, who hadn't played any of the practice games. So that was some, some great... Uh, inclusions for us. Uh, so the first quarter, look, it was a really closely fought. Uh, Luca did, took a couple of great saves, or nice marks uh, deep in defence. Uh, with Brody O working pretty hard, and uh, and it was good, really good to have Josh back because he gave us a great deal of run out of defence. So um, the first sort of ten minutes was we played quite well, but then we um, then they got away from us a little and probably kicked. Um, I think three unanswered goals late in the first quarter, uh, and we pushed Anthony Caminetti back behind the footy, and did a great job as the extra person behind the ball just to slow up a little bit of their momentum. So at quarter time, we just addressed some of the things uh, in relation to really accountability is the biggest thing for our boys to learn uh, at this point in time, which is really basically parents when they're at home. Uh, if the umpire has the ball or the opposition have the ball, they just need to find their, their direct opponent as quickly as possible. And then we just allow the boys to use their natural ability and instincts to um, to take them to the footy when it comes their way. But if we give opposition players um, too much time and space, um, these really good sides will use them and, and make us pay. So the second quarter, we were, we were much, much better at that and, and played really well. And look, Anthony, Anthony Caminetti really, again, played a really good quarter. Um, you know, we saw Alex and, and Eli. Eli unfortunately hurt his shoulder I think, during the second quarter and had to come off. So it was a bit of a, um, a bit of a setback for us because he's a wonderful little player, Eli. He takes a nice mark and uh, he's had some shoulder issues previously. So we just hope that he, uh, he gets over that quicker and sooner rather than later. Um, so at half time, like the second quarter, I think we lost the second quarter by about a goal, which is neither here nor there. But the kids are starting, our boys are starting to, to learn their trade and we've got a lot of a couple of boys who were playing for the first year and Julian and Ethan um, and it was about encouraging those boys to, to go for the ball and that and look they did it quite well um, so then we went into the third quarter a bit more buoyant uh, a bit more happy and um, and Joy and Jacko both got us off to a really good starts with just just simply that effort you know putting themselves in first to try and collect the footy um, we saw Tom Tom Milne and Tom L get themselves involved with some marking contests because they're some of their taller boys and at half time we, we spoke about uh, the taller lads being Sam and Tom and um, Eli, uh, James O, Josh and Ethan uh, going for their marks because of their height, Jamie Brown as well, because um, we just don't get enough of that aerial contest and the boys working for front spot. But we'll keep working on that through the year and we will get better. Um, we saw uh, Ethan take, uh, take a nice mark and get a good handball off, which uh, for a boy playing his first season of footy and, and it's really his, only his third game of footy, uh, it was really, really pleasing to see. Um, and through all that effort, uh, we hit the scoreboard. Brady Nichols kicked a really nice little goal, which was really off the back of the effort from Jai and Josh, who, who worked really hard to keep the ball into our forward line. Uh, we got, it was either a boundary throw or a stoppage, and, um, and Brady Nichols got the ball in his hand, and he's really quite a talented boy on left or right foot, and he, he slotted it straight, straight through the middle, which was really, really good. Um, we also saw James O work himself into the game during that period. Now, for most of the game, I played Tamai on the wing, and um, Tamai did a wonderful, wonderful job running up and down the wing. He's got tremendous pace, Tamai, and um, once we get his fitness up a little bit, I think he'll be a, a, just a wonderful asset for us. Um, 
and, and he, look, he played really well. It was very pleased with him. So we went into the fourth quarter feeling quite good about ourselves, and um, the first five or seven minutes of the quarter, we, we worked really hard. We saw Ethan again attack the footy in the air. Uh, Chaco got himself a lovely little goal from a nice little handball again from Ethan. So, and it's good. You know, we've got so many new players like this. You know, there's Jacko, Luca, Sam, uh, Angus, Eli, um, Julian, Tamai. Uh, I think I've already said Jacko. But the inclusion of these these new fellas, well, and we're very lucky to have them. And it was they're just starting to get their their idea of how they fit into fit in with the other boys. Um, we saw Gus um, start to come into the game a little more. Like Gus has set himself a very high standard because of his early practice game form. Um, so we look forward to, to him reaching that again. So and it was good in the last quarter to see him start to attack the footy with a little bit more freedom. Uh, as I said, Anthony came in and he played. Uh, look, he played a wonderful game, Anthony. I thought he would, he ran, he won the footy, he got it in the forward line on numerous occasions, and, and became a bit of a vocal point for us. Um, yeah, we saw Jamie Brown in the last quarter show something of what he can really do. You know, um, Jamie at times can be the best player on the ground the way he attacks the footy and, and catches it and runs. Um, so we just need to get him to be a little bit more consistent at that. At the end of the day, we got pretty comprehensively beaten, uh, mainly because the last probably seven minutes, uh, they kicked four unanswered goals. So the score didn't really reflect how well we did play. Uh, and I'm certain as the season progresses, we'll make some um, some significant inroads into that school line for the next time we play go um, Great Thorn. Uh, some medals on the day uh, went to uh, Anthony Caminetti, got the opposition medal, which I thought was thoroughly deserved. And I gave our medal to um, to Josh Hazelden. I thought Josh, first game in as well as Anthony, but Josh gave us a lot of run from uh, centre-half back and, and in the ruck in the last quarter. And... Um, Look, it, it, look, Josh played really well. I'm really pleased that he um, that he's adapted so quickly, having not played any practice games. Uh, our captain for the day was Brody Nichols, and we um, will continue to share the captaincy around. Uh, I think it's a good thing for the boys to get used to leading each day, uh, each Saturday. So, um, so that's where we're at. At the end of the day, we didn't probably get the score line we wanted, but we saw some improvement from the week before against Banyul, and I'd spoken to. Uh, the great Thorn coach before the game, and they generally would lose to Banyuel by uh, around a goal or so, so they're quite a good team. So, look, we look forward to next week. We've got Baldwin at home at 11.30, uh, and I think I think if we play uh, as well as we did during the second and third terms, and we can extend that into a four-quarter game, we'll do really, really well. So, um, uh, that's it from me. Uh, thanks very much, parents. I hope this works, uh, because it's certainly easier than me typing it. Thanks again. Bye-bye.